<sighs> Hello. This is a talk you chia. Okay, so continuing our rant on religion. I know it's been a few days, but but let's go ahead and continue it anyway. I got a few responses to it. Now I I've been telling other people about my new views on religion, so I'll tell you what one of them said, and then I'll tell you what uh, one person what they said, and one the only good comment person I got. All right, so here's the next religion topic for educational discussion today. First, of course, the two people who threw the most shit fits were Christian. Just of course. I mean, why wouldn't they be? Okay, so... Let me tell you fucking Catholics and you fucking Christian something. Okay? Let me tell you motherfuckers something. Um... Uh, it, I, I generally do believe that some of you... Some of you dumb monkey blowers think you're helping people by telling them that they're evil and telling them that they're spiteful and telling them that they're going to hell. I generally do think some of you are helping, but uh, if you think, if you really think that you're helping people, then I suggest you exit this video right now before I carefully explain how much of a motherfucking idiot you are. Okay? Understand me? Okay. The, okay. You, the, the fucking church, okay, what they, what they do is they sit there, and they sit there, and they say, Oh, yes, Jesus Christ encourages us to love our fellow brothers and sisters throughout the world. Oh, yay! Okay, yeah, they say that, but you're not really living that out. Let me explain why. Some of you think that, yes, the, uh, we, we do, what encourages us to go out and convert people is acceptance of our fellow man and the fact that we generally do want to help people. Let me explain to you that that's fucking wrong, okay? The, the fact that you motherfuckers have a failure to accept others that teaches hate and intolerance, not love. You motherfuckers, you schlongs, think that- I know! I'm, I'm telling this guy he's a fucking idiot! He's evil! He's spiteful! I'm going, I'm going to heaven to meet Jesus! Don't you see how backwards that is? Don't you see how that, like, that, that's so... Look at that! Just listen to that statement! That's what you're doing! Yeah, you may not be saying that, but that's what you're basically saying. That's what, you're bas that's what your actions say. Not your words, but your actions say, Oh, this guy's a schlong! Alright, good, Jesus, take me to heaven! Go fuck yourself. Just listen to that statement! That doesn't make you good, okay, dipshit? That doesn't make you a fucking good person, okay? Okay, now let's get into these responses that I got from, from our religion rants. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the one that's not on YouTube. Okay, so apparently, according to this motherfucker, according to this dipshit, according to this know-it-all windbag, this guy thinks he's such a philosopher, but he's not. He, said he thinks he's so cool, but he's a retard, okay? And he likes to go around and call everyone else retarded and everyone else dumb. When really, he comes up with this, okay? When I tell him my new ideas on religion that I've expressed in the last two videos, two, three, four videos now, apparently, according to this guy, my new opinion on religion is not an opinion. I, I just, I don't fucking get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get his point. It's not an opinion. What? The fuck does that mean? The fuck does it mean it's not an opinion? Okay, my opinion on religion is that it should be pushed back. We shouldn't focus on it as much. Or it should be just eradicated altogether. How is that not an opinion? My opinion on religion is that it tears people apart. It tears this, it tears this planet apart. It is the reason other worlds hate each other so much. Other countries, other they hate each other because of religion. So we should downgrade it or eradicate it. How is that not an opinion? I don't understand. Okay, now apparently he tried to explain it to me, but I'm not fucking reading that. I'm not fucking reading that shit. When you're told that your opinion is not an opinion, I'm not gonna fucking read his explanation. I don't fucking care. And you may be saying, oh, well, you didn't see his complete argument. It doesn't matter. I read the first few lines. He continued to tell me that it's not an opinion. 
I don't understand how my opinion on religion is not an opinion. If somebody agrees with this guy, can you put in the comment section about my opinion that I've expressed on religion in the past four videos is not an opinion? Can somebody please explain that to me? Can one of you dumb Catholics out there stop shoving a cross up your ass for two minutes and explain that to me? Okay, so the fight continued, and I asked him about the temporal evidence of Jesus Christ. He said he'd, quote, get back to me on that one. Guess how many times the fuckers talked to me since then? I'll give you a hint. It looks, the number looks like the moon in the corner. That's what the number looks like. Can you guess it? No, it's not ten. The, it's not eight. The answer's zero. And tough, because, because, because he can look all he wants. Google, he can Google it all he wants. Google ain't gonna help him, because there is no temporal evidence of Jesus Christ's existence. There is none. Okay? There's none. There's, there's just about the, Jesus Christ, no temporal evidence. None. Because I say it again, the corrupt elite created Jesus. He was created by the upper class society members that were worried about the barbarians coming to steal all their fucking money. That's what it was. That's who that, so, the upper class people created Jesus Christ. Maybe it was the apostles that created him. The upper class apostles. Maybe it was them did it. Oh yeah, and by the way, this new fucking heaven is for real bullshit, I don't buy it. It was a scheme to get international fame and money. That's what that was. They put the kid up to it. They promised him, I don't know, trucks and toys and video games. I don't know, probably Call of Duty based on the kid, our kids today nowadays. But that's what that shit was. I don't buy that shit for a second. <sighs> okay, because they because if it was an adult, no one would believe it. But if it was in my hand of an innocent child, oh yeah, people would believe that. Fuck that little boy. Fucking Cole or whatever the fuck his name is. Okay, so that guy's a fucking retard. So once he gets back to me on the, uh, if someone would like to provide me with temporal evidence of Jesus Christ, I am ready and waiting. Just please, please send that to me. And again, watch my other four videos first, because they they will explain to you the, why the true cross of Christ, not really temporal evidence. Okay? Now anyway, now let's go to the YouTube commenter who's a fucking idiot, a real fucking idiot. Okay, so, the first thing I want to think about this is, okay, the comments were posted, I never saw the comments up. They were posted, and then... I don't know, I, I guess maybe this person was scared that, I don't know, maybe Mommy found out about the YouTube channel or something. Or she, or she or she was scared that Mommy found out about the YouTube channel. So, the comments were taken down, but I saw them and Sky saw them. Because she asked Sky a question, he, she, asked Sky a question, it called she. I don't do many she, so let's just say it's a she. She asked Sky a question about how, where, where Jesus fit into her theory about Adam and Eve. So Sky answered. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what these comments said. Okay, yeah, I see the copyright claim. You don't gotta tell me. Okay, here it is. I think this is it anyway. Okay, this is one. This is three. Okay. That's Christian Jarrods. Okay, here she. Here she is. I'm gonna guess it's a she because I guess. I guess she doesn't know that lilies die at night, and they, there's no sunlight, so there's, there cannot be a lily in the night because the sunlight won't provide lily at night. Okay, this is the comment that, that she left me. The other one was sent to Sky, which Sky already ripped apart, so there's no need for me to do that. But this comment was taken down immediately, like immediately. Okay, so that's cowardly. That's cowardly. Now, is everyone seeing this? Because apparently this comment doesn't exist. Because apparently I'm a crazy lunatic for believing that this comment is real. I'm, I'm apparently, according to some people, I'm a crazy motherfucker, and this comment just doesn't exist. It's not in my inbox. Oh, there it is. I don't know if this person that was subconscious about YouTube channel knows this. Whenever you comment on YouTube, la ladies and gentlemen, whenever you comment on YouTube, the creator of the video gets a res gets an email from YouTube saying that there's a new comment on the video. That's what happens. And whenever you reply to somebody on YouTube, YouTube sends the person you reply to a email saying somebody replied to you. So everyone who's scared about mommy finding out about the YouTube channel and all that shit really shouldn't be commenting because the email goes out. So the comment is, is forever here. I have it. And I'm not deleting it anytime soon. Just despite this person who wanted it gone. 
Oh, right, so let's get let's get into this shit. Here we go. Okay, the, the grammar shit again. Well, comma, even for extremists, okay, okay, I don't even really care about what's in the parentheses. Well, comma, even for extremists, comma, there is tolerance if people can just learn to balance everything. It's key to so many things, including religion. Semicolon, everything that's after a semicolon should be capitalized. Tolerance and balance. Okay, so tolerance and balance is the key to many things. Okay. I don't think you know what an extremist is, Lily. Let's understand each other. I don't think you know what an extremist is. Go watch a video by Caden Calger. Go look at Believe and Trust Jesus 2's YouTube channel. That's extremists. Extremists are people that go around and these dumb fucking schlongs, what they do is, these motherfuckers, these fucking cunts, they go and they post comments and they threaten everyone around them with, with death, with health threats and hate comments and, and tell them that they're sinful and all this fucking nonsense. I don't know if these idiots know this, but the extremists are hurting people. I fully blame two extremists for me losing my faith. Fully bl blame them. Believe and trust Jesus too, and the guy who said the first comment, of the guy who I was talking about, about how my opinion is not an opinion. I fully blame him and believe and trust Jesus too for losing my faith in the church, because they're both fucking idiots. And I don't want to be a part of the organization that does this to people, that calls them sinful and calls them evil. I don't want to be associated with that. I want to be associated with a group of people that cause tolerance for people. And this fucking bitch clearly doesn't know what an extremist is if she thinks that extremists have tolerance. They don't. They go around on the internet and parade, parade comments with these fucking... You're going to hell, you sinful demon! It's fucking shit. So, Lily, before you, before you bitch at me, make sure you know what an extremist actually is. And Sky, you're watching this, don't give her the time of day. If she ever PMs you or, or posts another comment, don't give this bitch the time of day. Okay? She doesn't deserve it. People that deserve it are people that stand their ground. She ain't gonna stand around. She's gonna run away with her head in between her legs, kissing her ass goodbye. You don't need to fucking comment on her, okay? Don't waste your don't waste your fucking time, because those thirty seconds could do something way better than than, than, than this motherfucker, okay? Hope Lily the night fucking dies, okay? See you later.